Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning Earthlings, wherever you are on planet Earth. So I'll do a quick video, sun's about to go down so we've got to be quick. Um, firstly, we haven't been arrested yet. Well, Graham might have been, he's disappeared to his, I think he's doing his hair ready for his uh, debut. Quickly, because I only do short videos, and my part of my earring has just fallen into my drink. Gosh, that's bright, the sun. What do you think of his hair? Take his glasses off. Is that better? Long and luscious. I love it. Very nice soldier. Speaking of soldiers, Trevor Cool very kindly sent Graham a copy of his book. I was astonished because I don't know that my Graham's ever re read a book. I have. Apart from the Bible. I couldn't manage the Bible. But I, I, was la I was laughing and it... How's it going with the book? Right. Don't show people's addresses I'm on... I'm not showing anyone's address. Right, here it is. Toxin is. is mate by accident. Ah, oh, right, and yeah. I'm, uh, I'm up to there, look. Ah, That's right. chapter... Chapter 9. He's just got back to Bastion and he's off to Cyprus in the morning. So, um, yeah, it's the first time I'm reading it and I've got a highlight pen. I'm picking bits out, so I'm going to do a, put, a put really good review. Put people's addresses oh. away. For God's not... sake. He's as bad as Wally. Doxing by accident. Um, yes, I'm, I am very impressed because, as I say, Graham doesn't generally. You don't read books. Ben bought not you a generally. book. What book was it Ben bought you years ago? Oh, Bravo something zero. Was that, was that they the guys caught in Iraq or something? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. Graham never touched it. Never picked it up. But because it's Trevor, every day he's got his nose stuck in there. I'm I don't amazed. Read, I don't read very fast. You're not a cultured man, are you, normally? Um, what do you mean back to? You don't have to answer that question. And then this, this afternoon I've been asleep. Can you hold the phone a minute, yeah. please? And I sat on my favourite sunglasses. Oh, never mind, you have to buy some more. I just, I rolled over, I was asleep, rolled over and I had snap and I thought, oh God, they're my favourites, never mind. And also I found out that um, our cat likes prawns. I never knew that, I bought prawns yesterday. And um, again, while I was asleep, Boo Boo jumped up. Didn't you Boo Boo? And you ate about seven prawns in their shells. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. Get it. No, oh, you can see the cat's not in prison at the moment either. Anyway, so it's just a quick update, just a quick video. Yes, I de did see Madam's speech yesterday. <clears throat> we had a plan for tonight. We were going to do a parody. Um, and we will be doing it. Firstly, I've got to find something red to wear. I used to have a red blouse just like that. I, feel quite, I don't know how to take that. I feel quite insulted. Um, but we've also got a tin of plum tomatoes. And uh, my daughter, my son and my husband are all pretty much crack shots with projectiles. So I'm going to dress up as her. I call dibs on throwing it at you though. And I'm going to take one for the team in the mouth. And maybe fall in the water as well dressed as Megan, but I'm not promising the falling in the water because I saw some jellyfish this morning. I reckon Megan sent them. Anyway, so brilliant comments, left, right and centre, all of you. Uh, keep them coming. What have you been up to today? I haven't really been up to anything. I've been on a kind of a day off, which is lovely. And I think I've got a day off tomorrow as well. It's just everyone else hasn't got a day off. I might be uh, cleaning the boat tomorrow. In fact, doing some DIY. So I might do a DIY video and... Uh, you can let me know what sort of stories you want to hear. I have got one or two left of 86 High Street, but the thing at 86 High Street was it was usually indeterminate noises in the middle of the night. Lots of them on a regular basis. So, um, But there is one particular one which was really involved me, my dad and my sister. It's quite a short one, though. Um, I don't have any alien stories. That The day on the beach, that's sort of the closest I've ever come to that. Um, give me some ideas what you want to hear tomorrow. And um, I might have a bit of an update tomorrow about Wally. I think she's asleep at the moment. I've just asked her if she wants to do something fun this week. So we will see. Have a lovely evening, morning or afternoon, wherever you are on planet Earth. And I will see you below.